So now, I will be discussing the 7th and the 8th mathematicians in the 19th century. So the first mathematic, the seventh mathematician rather, is George Cantor. So in full, he is George Ferdinand Ludwig Philip Cantor. He was born on March 3, 1845, Saint Petersburg, Russia, and died January 6, 1918, Hale, Germany. He was a German mathematician who founded set theory and introduced the mathematically meaningful concept of transfinite numbers in definitely large but distinct from one another. His notable works. First is the foundations of a general theory of aggregates. Then second, the contributions to the founding of the theory of transfinite numbers. So, the subjects of study of George was the set of theory, infinity, continuum hypotenuse, hypothesis rather, Cantor's theorem, transfinite number, early life and training. In a series of 10 papers from 1869 to 1873, Cantor de dealt first with the theory of numbers. This article reflected his own fascination with the subject, his attitudes of ghosts, and the influence of Kronecker. Cantor turned to the theory of trigonometric series, in which he extended the concept of real numbers. So Cantor in 1870 showed that the function can be represented in only one way by a trigonom trigonometric series. So consideration of the collection of numbers or points that would not conflict with such a representation led him first in 1872 to define irrational numbers in terms of convergence sequences of rational numbers, quotients of integers, and then to begin his major life work, the theory of sets and the concepts of transfinite numbers. So our eighth, eighth and last uh, mathematician in the 19th century is Henry Poincaré. So in full, he is Jules Henry Poincaré. He was born on April 29, 1854 in Nancy, France. Then died July 17, 1912 in Paris. So he is a French mathematician, one of the greatest mathematicians and mathematical physicists at the end of 19th century. So that was Henry Poincaré. Then he made a series of profound innovations. In the following, um, in the following mentioned, the geometry, the theory of differential equations, electromagnetism, topology, and the philosophy of mathematics. So that was nice. Then a notable, his notable works was work or works is the analysis situs. So the subject of studies. So his subjects of study is the relativity, automorphic function, and end body problem and a fusion function. Pointer grew up in Nancy and studied mathematics for almost two to three years. So 1873 to 1875 at the Ecole Polytechnique in Paris. So he studied uh, at Nancy three years at the Ecole Polytechnique in Paris. While a student, he discovered new types of com complex functions that solve a wide variety of differential equations. So Poincaré is very um, intelligent because while he is still studying, he already discovered new types of complex functions. So it's so unbelievable. So this major work involved one of the first mainstream applications of non-Euclidean geometry. So that was good. In the 1880s, Poincaré also began work on curves. He 
defined by a particular type of differential equation. So, he such questions as, so, he has mga questions. So, do the solutions spiral into or away from a point? Do they like the hyperbola at investigate the first approach to a point and then swing past and recede from it? Do some solutions form closed loops? If so, do, do nearby curves spiral toward or away from these closed loops? So that is the questions of Henry. He was the first to consider the global nature of the solution curves and their possible singular points or points where the differential equation is not properly defined. So he was the first to consider the global nature of solution curves. So he is he is a very good uh, uh, famous uh, mathematician, I guess, in his times. He showed, Pointer also showed that the number and types of singular points are determined purely by the topological nature of the surface. In particular, it is only on the torus that the differential equations he was considering have no singular points. So, that would be all uh, on the seventh and the last uh, mathematician in the 19th century. So, I hope you learned something. Thank you.